Did you know that as a child, Connor Bedard once took inline skates and a hockey stick to Hawaii for a family vacation, was called the future of hockey at the age of 13, or that his jersey was the highest selling amongst all NHL players before he had even played a game? In this video, you're going to learn about those things, and you'll probably even find a couple of things you've never heard before. Bedard had an outstanding rookie season with the Chicago Blackhawks last year, and he was just selected as the first overall player in the NHL draft in June of 2023. But even before that, it had been long predicted that Bedard would become an NHL great. So without further ado, here are the 20 things you didn't know about Connor Bedard. Number 1. Connor was first interviewed by the Hockey News article when he was 13. And in this article, it was written in clear paint that he was the future of hockey. And at that point in the season, Bedard had 33 goals in just 14 games played. Number 2. While playing junior hockey for the Regina St. Pats of the Western Hockey League, his grandfather, who had been a major supporter and a very close family member, was killed in an auto accident. Connor had a game that night, and his family and the team decided not to tell Connor about his grandfather until after the game. And I don't know about you guys, but I kind of think that's just selfish on the team's part. Like, I know you want to win a hockey game, but isn't your best player's sanity more important? But anyways, Connor Bedard being Connor Bedard, scored two goals and a two assists in the game and was named the first star. But after Connor learned about his grandfather's death, the team booked him on a flight back home to his family for the funeral. But Connor Bedard being so addicted to hockey didn't even go because he had a game a couple days later and said that his grandfather would have wanted him to play. And in that game, he scored the overtime winner against the first place team. During his celebration, Bedard pumped his fist and pointed to the sky. In the Zoom call available with the media after the game, tears went into his eyes as Connor said his grandfather was always who I played for and who I will always play for. Number 3. Early in his rookie campaign, Bedard became the first NHL rookie with three points in one period since Pierre Turgeon during the 1986 season. He's also the youngest player in Blackhawks history with a three-point game and is among the youngest players in NHL history with a four-point game. Number 4. Bedard's final Western Hockey League season with Regina was a spectacular one. He had 71 goals and 72 assists for 143 points in only 57 games. It included a 35 game point streak and he even had some 5 point games. Bedard's goal total was 21 more than the next closest player and the most by a WHL player in 24 years. The 143 points was the highest WHL total in 27 years. Number 5. Connor was the youngest WHL player to score 50 goals in a single season when he had 51 goals and 100 points in 62 games with Regina in 2021. He was 16 years, 9 months, and 1 day old when he tallied his 50th goal. The previous youngest, Glenn Goodall, in 1986, had already turned 17 when he reached 50. Number 6. As a child, he refused to go on proposed family vacations to Disneyland because he would not be able to play hockey there. He only agreed to go to Hawaii with his family if he could bring his inline skates and a hockey stick. Number 7. By the age of 17, Connor was already a two-time gold medal winner at the World Junior Championship. During the 2023 tournament, he was the most valuable player with 9 goals, 14 assists, and 23 points. And that set the Team Canada WJC record for the most single points in a single tournament and tied the record for the most points in a tournament by a 17-year-old. Along with the MVP award, he was named the tournament's best forward and named to the tournament's all-star team. Number 8. Despite all the individual acclaim and accolades he has received for virtually his entire life, and the fact that he's been also acclaimed as a great hockey player over his relatively few years on the planet, Bedard remains humble and has a team-first attitude. He also always engages with people who recognize him away from the hockey ring. He was praised by Blackhawks teammate Taylor Hall, himself a former number one overall pick, about just how well Bedard has handled all of this hoopla surrounding him. Number 9. Despite being a rookie and already really a superstar in hockey, Bedard's small size does not equate to fear. He took some huge hits on several occasions as a rookie, but he has always got up and continued to play the way he always has. Number 10. Connor was born and grew up in North Vancouver, British Columbia in Canada. 
That is the same hometown that also produced Macklin Celebrini, who is the projected first overall pick in the 2024 draft. Bedard remembers playing with Celebrini about 10 years ago and watched him pretty closely at the 2024 World Junior Championship in Sweden. Number 11. Connor's father, Tom, is the great nephew of former NHL player and longtime NHL coach Jim Bedard. Jim Bedard played 73 NHL games for the Washington Capitals during the 1978 and 78 seasons and played in the AHL, the IHL, the CHL, and even in Finland during an 18 season professional career. He was also the goaltender coach with the Detroit Red Wings when they won the Stanley Cup in 1998, 2002, and 2008. Connor's dad, Tom, never played hockey. Number 12. Connor was allowed to play major junior hockey in Canada at the age of 15. Players in the OHL, WHL, and the QMJHL usually range in age from 16 to 20, but there are some rare cases in which a player is deemed so talented that he can play in one of those leagues at 15. It's called exceptional status, and Bedard received that classification. He was the first 15-year-old to ever play in the WHL and averaged almost two points a game in Regina with 12 goals and 28 points in 15 games in his first season. Number 13. But before playing with the WHL Pats, Bedard played in Sweden. That was 2020, a weird time for everyone around the world because of COVID-19. He spent two months in Sweden playing four games for the HV71 junior team. Bedard had two goals and two assists for four points. And he even said that this experience in Sweden made him a better player. The bigger playing surface, 200 feet long by 100 feet wide, and a bigger emphasis on puck control are the biggest differences of European style of hockey versus North America. Number 15. When he was granted exceptional status to play in the WHL, Connor got a call from none other than Wayne Gretzky. The call came into Connor's cell phone as a number he didn't recognize and he considered not even picking it up. But when he did and realized who it was, Connor said that he was stuttering and was not even really able to speak. The call didn't last long. Gretzky basically told him, way to go and to keep it up. Number 16. One of the things that impressed scouts the most about his game was his developed shot. When he was 15, he got to skate with a few NHL players during his summer in Toronto, including the Edmonton Oilers' Connor McDavid, who is considered the world's best player. McDavid said that even then, Bedard's shot was of NHL quality, and that's coming from a guy who rarely compliments anyone. But the main person he patented the way he shoots the puck is after Toronto Maple Leafs sniper Austin Matthews. The main thing that he took away from Matthew's shot is how Matthews uses a toe drag to move the puck closer to his skates just before he shoots. Connor has become so good at it that he actually may do it better than Matthews does now. Number 17. Even before he played a game in Chicago, ticket sales surged for the Blackhawks games. That's how much it meant to the franchise, which had gone through hard times in the previous years to win the right to select Connor Bedard in the NHL Draft Lottery. Number 18. From the day he was drafted in June of 2023 until the beginning of the season in early October that year, his jersey sold more than the jersey of any other player in the NHL. Number 19. Still being only 18, Bedard has grown up in the age of invasive social media and is quite comfortable with it. He knows how to share himself online and show his true personality, but also to do it in a tasteful and non-threatening manner. Lastly, number 20. An example of his social media manners is when after the Chicago Bears drafted quarterback Caleb Williams and wide receiver Rome Aldunes in the first round of the 2024 NFL Draft last April. Bedard welcomed both players to Chicago with a video message on X, which I still want to call Twitter. What's up guys? Welcome to Chicago. We're super pumped to be watching this season. Chicago's the best city with the best fans. Bedard has also been the target of at least one social media influencer. During his rookie season with the Blackhawks, TikTok star Brecky Hill became obsessed with Connor and posted a bunch of shots in her suggestive and scantily clad poses aimed at him. She even went as far as to pretend he was her boyfriend in one post on TikTok. So there you have it. 20 things you probably didn't know about Connor Bedard. Which one of these surprised you the most? Click the video on the screen to watch the 20 things you probably didn't know about Connor McDavid. And if you like this video, don't be a bender. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, help the algorithm, help us grow, and see you next time.